Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for February 8th through the 14th. The sticker sheet I'm using today is called Sketched Hearts and I did my own colorway with this one and I will link the item as well as the colors that I used below. And this is my Erin Condren Life Planner binder and the Life Planner comes in a coiled version as well as a soft bound version, but I love the binder and the flexibility of it. I've prepped this week with some sticky notes and I'll take the pages out to do my actual planning. Here are the washi strips that I made to go along the inner edge of these pages to clean up the holes that I had repunched, which are very obviously imperfectly repunched. And I did that last July when I first got my binder in order to enlarge the holes. Um, if you are interested in getting a binder though, moving forward, you won't have to worry about that because they have modified the pages so that the holes are perfect. They're a quarter inch wide and, or maybe I should say in diameter, and they're just the right size now. But I like these washi strips anyway, just for the decorative aspects. And um, so, yeah, I like to start with that. And I tried to coordinate it with the sketched hearts. Here are the sticky notes that I used, by the way. They were in the seasonal surprise box. No, they weren't. They were in the sticker subscription that we most recently got. So I guess that was the winter seasonal subscription. It is so satisfying to line this fat washi strip up against the inner washi. I don't know why. But it is. Which way is right side up? I guess it doesn't matter. So I've got these two February sheets pulled from two versions of the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. Version five is on the left and version six is on the right. That's the most recent one, obviously. And they're very similar. But I love those Valentines on the edition five one and I like the little mailbox that's in the edition six one. Sunday is a big day for me because it is not only Valentine's Day, but there is going to be a student recital of my music that I've composed, put on by our local music teachers association. So I'm so excited about that. It just so happens that I am one of the only members of our association that knows how to edit videos though. So I am doing the editing and I have a lot of work to do for that this week. But the students all did such a great job. I've already seen all of their individual performance videos and I don't know how to express what an honor it is to have written music and then to later hear a young person perform that music and to know how hard they had to work at it to be able to master it and to um, learn the skills that were required to be able to play it. And it's just a great feeling. And, and truth be told, I'm probably looking forward to that recital on Sunday a little more than I'm actually looking forward to Valentine's Day. <laughs> so it's a big deal um, for me and I'm going to write it on a nice big sticker. And if you are interested, this sticker fits the monthly boxes in an Erin Condren life planner sort of perfectly. And so it's a little bit wider than the columns in the Erin Condren vertical life planner in the weekly spread. But if you have the hourly planner, or I mean, you could still use it in the vertical, obviously, but if you have the hourly planner, then the width of the sticker is actually perfect. So that sticky note is sized to fit the vertical planner. So it's an inch and a half wide, but these are something like, not an inch and a half, but maybe 1.65 or something like that 
wide. So look how perfectly they fit those columns. So I'm going to write church on this sticker. That's the one that I usually always use for church when I use an Erin Condren sticker sheet. And the pen I'm writing with is the Erin Condren Gold Gel Pen, and it is my heaviest pen by far. It's a really luxurious pen. I linked it in the item description or the video description below if you are interested in treating yourself to a nice pen. And Erin Condren also sells the refills. Look at this thing. This is an old fashioned blotter. So I know that people use makeup blotters, but this is a blotter for pen, ink, and it's an old timey little gadget that my mom found when she was going through an old box. And she used to be a secretary. And I said, I want that thing because it's like a card that has like a tissue texture on the other side. And we'll cover up the calendar with this nice dark red sticker, which will have no problem with the calendar showing through. But February has an F and a B in it, and those are poking their little heads out above the sticker. So I'm just gonna wipe that out and do a little bit of um, reinforcement with some of this glue tape. Yeah. Just reinforcing it a little bit. Yeah. Because sometimes when you use white out, a sticker doesn't stick as well to that. Got a little extra there that just rubs off. Okay, so Wednesday, I'm going to have a lunch date for the third Wednesday in a row, which makes me so happy. I kind of categorize that in the self-care category. And if you are not able to meet in person, you can do Zoom chats or FaceTime chats. Just have your lunch or your coffee date virtually. And that was one thing that I have learned over the course of the last nine months or so. And it does a lot for your mental health, I think. And then the blotter, of course. The blotter is great. And I'm using them on the Erin Condren stickers since they are a little bit more slick than other stickers. And it seems to prevent smearing. So otherwise you would perhaps want to use a permanent pen on one of these more slick stickers. Okay, so I'm going to write my memory verse on the sidebar. And I haven't sped up my writing. I apologize if that is boring. But I have actually encountered a few issues in iMovie. When I speed up something in iMovie, it will sometimes move the audio around and the audio will be in the wrong place. So I did do some time-lapse footage. I won't do any lengthy writing without switching over to time-lapse, so don't worry. Just the little things I'm doing in real time. And I wanna pair that title with something. So let's see how this looks. I think that's too many of those big red boxes in one spot though. Maybe a small one. And I'll put the little pink header on top of that. And stagger it a little, or stagger is not the word. What is it? Offset. Offset it. Okay, so this week's memory verse is Luke. Where is it? Luke. Here it is. I wrote it out ahead of time. It's Luke 8, 17. And let's go to time lapse for this. It says, for there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed 
and oops, I've already messed up. So I got ahead of myself and wrote the wrong words there, but that's not a problem. I have a sticker. I don't want to write on top of the whiteout, so I, I really think I should just white the whole thing out and put a sticker on it. So how's this sticker? Pretty good, right? That'll blend with anything. It's just black and white. It's from a Happy Planner sticker book. Okay. For there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open. Luke eight seventeen. I actually like it better on the sticker anyway. So as Bob Ross would say, that was a happy mistake. And I have a graphic of my memory verse every week over on Instagram or in my Facebook group, which is Plan Sarah Plans Planner Circle. All right, let's see what we have to go. We'll do the piano lessons with the little check boxes and mark the time with check boxes. I, I won't really list the students there. It's the wrong number anyway. I have six students a day and there are only five check boxes on there, but it's about the right size to use as a little time blocking strip. And my nail polish matches my stickers because, I mean, doesn't everybody's? <laughs> so I got that idea from Saray. I get a lot of ideas from Saray, actually. If you don't follow Saray Bailey, she is Saray Plans on Instagram, and she also has a fabulous YouTube channel. And she does her nails in a color to coordinate with the monthly color scheme in the Erin Condor and Life Planner. And that's just fun. These four event flag stickers will be my headers for piano. And just pretend like I am Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh moving really slowly when I write. But this is how I write. It is not pretty when I don't write slowly. But when I do speed up, if I have been practicing or warming up sort of slowly, I can write more neatly. And when I am at work, like when I am writing lesson notes or taking notes at a meeting, I don't write like this. This is just when I'm trying to write very neatly in print. But my cursive writing, it, it's not ugly or anything, but it's, I don't try to make it perfect when I am using it in a functional way. And jotting down lesson notes. During piano lessons, I have to move really fast to cover everything that we need to cover and to keep a record of what we did each lesson. So I definitely write in cursive and I write quickly and very often it is messy. But writing slowly and neatly is also kind of relaxing for me also. So I enjoy it. I'm not trying to beat the clock here, which is kind of obvious. <laughs> okay, let's put the little gumball machine up here on top of the, the box. And I also usually put the lesson number that I'm on up there. So I'll have to decide how to do that. And then I am with my mom three days a week to help her do some things and just to give her some company. And these little flags from the EC sticker sheet will be a good way to mark that. 
There are four of those per sticker sheet. So actually I could use the fourth one to mark the lesson number. Let's do some more really slow writing, you guys. So tell me, do you write slowly in your planner or do you just, are you just too busy for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. Because I am definitely, I'm making time for that. <laughs> okay, guys, I will just give you the heads up that there will be a launch of a few new items from Erin Condren on Tuesday the 9th. So mark your calendar. I have a box that I can't share just yet, but I can share it on the 9th. In the meantime, there are some great deals right now from Erin Condren on planners. They are marked down. The last time I checked, they were 25% off for 2021 calendar year planners. I'm not sure if that sale is still going on. So take a peek. And as always, I will have my Erin Condren affiliate link in the video description. So if they are still on sale, you will see it there. And that's a great time to either get an additional planner if you want one for work and one for home, or if you want to try a different layout, because you won't have missed that much of the year. So it's a good discount for the amount of time that has passed so far. In the year, and I ripped that when I took it off the sticker sheet. I'm going to use these sort of awkwardly sized, short and skinny washi strips from the monthly sticker sheet to divide the early morning hours from the late morning hours. And I wish that these strips were either longer or that they were the same pattern. So you get two different patterns. And what I'm going to do is alternate them. And we'll see how far they will go across this two-page spread. I have a feeling it's not going to end up being a perfect fit. but that's okay. So see what I'm doing? I'm just picking up the first one again and I'm alternating. And this little piece here that I take off is not, uh, yeah, that's not going to be long enough to cover a whole column. So we'll just ad lib. They are cute. In the old sticker books that we used to get, the washi strips were longer. Well, wait, let me take that back because in the layers and flower power sticker books, the washi strips are longer. It's just in these new monthly sticker books that they are shorter. And I did find a good use for that um, last year. You can take your washi strips from these edition five and six monthly sticker books and use them in your petite planner and they are a good size for the petite planner but see how I just kind of improvised over there on Friday and Saturday and there isn't enough left over for Sunday but that's okay Sunday's a different sort of a day anyway and I will write Valentine's Day with a permanent pen on this somewhat slick piece of washi from the sticker sheet. I wanted to try the silver gel pen on it, but I was a little bit nervous that it would smear. So if you don't know, Erin Condren has out a new set of, I think it's six metallic gel pens. And 
the cool thing about them is that you can write on darker paper and the gel ink will show up pretty well. Hmm. Let's do this, the lesson number. So this week will be lesson six in my piano studio. And I think I am going to go ahead and just live dangerously and color in this six with the silver metallic gel pen and see what happens. And somewhat surprisingly, but happily, it seems to be working really well and in person this really pops so I hope you can see that in the video that looks super cool actually I will link these pens below if you like nice I like that and so now we'll just pop it up here somewhere on the gumball machine and look how cute I love that I love that <laughs> okay I guess little things make me happy right and I like this little mailbox that will hopefully remind me to put a few valentines in the mail this week look This is just a fun deco sticker and I don't really have a use for that red square so that makes a nice combo for the bottom of the sidebar and yeah love this okay so I did add some little heart stickers over on Saturday so this is a little sticker book I forgot about from one of the seasonal surprise boxes. And I just took four little hearts off and put them over there on Saturday evening. And I added a ta-da uh, binder clip. And here are my Mama Gloria Bible stickers. So I like to use those with my memory verse. I have a link with a discount code for you below if you want some Mama Gloria stickers. And here's her cute little church building. And then I think I've also got some money stickers. Yes. Here's my Erin Condren A5 budget book. And I do have some bills that are due this week. So I will just plop down some money stickers on those dates to remind me to pay them. If you want to see how I use my A5 budget book, you can find two videos right now on how I set that up on my YouTube channel. And here is a little music icon that I want to use on each of the four piano teaching days. These are little vinyl stickers from Amazon. that are very adorable and match really well. So I set aside a page beside the dashboard spread in my weekly planner to log my memory verses. And I neglected to do that last week. So I'm adding last week's verse and this week's verse. And if you have been following me on Instagram, you might have seen that I decorated this page differently in my daily life planner. So I don't want you to be confused and think, wait a minute, that's not what I saw on Instagram. This one is my weekly life planner. So it has a different setup than my daily life planner. And we're done. So we pop this back into the binder and we'll take a look at how things turned out. I'm happy with this and of course I may still add some things to it and some things could get canceled. We are expecting snow here on Sunday and so I'm not sure 
if the snow will be gone by the time these plans actually come to pass. Okay, so what I like to do at the end of my weekly plan with me is a prayer for the coming week. So if you care to join me, please do. Heavenly Father, I just want to lift up all of my planner friends who are watching right now. I thank you for each and every one of them who has taken some time out of their day to hang out with me and to celebrate planning and our mutual love of planning. And what I would like to do is ask your blessing on each one today. And I know that we are all experiencing very different things in our lives and only you know exactly what is needed in each one of my friends' lives. And so I ask for your mercy and for your grace and for your comfort for everyone who's watching. I lift up those who are sick, those that we know who are sick and those who are battling disease and whether they be loved ones or friends or co-workers, acquaintances, or even somebody who's watching, I ask for your help in their health situation. And I ask that you would give them pain relief, that you would give them comfort, confidence, get rid of their fear, Lord, because everything is in your hands. And no matter what sort of difficulty we face, there is nothing that is too big for you. And there's no situation that you can't intervene in and make 100% better. And so we give these things to you. We ask that you would bless our week and use us this week to be your servants and to glorify you and honor you in everything that we do and say this week. And I pray that even this very day that you will allow us to be a blessing to another person who crosses our path. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So planner friends, that's going to do it for this week. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye.